Hi, how are you doing? Um, I do want to apologize to my subscribers for being absent from YouTube for the last couple weeks. I've been preoccupied. I do plan to go back and uh, work on the mechanisms and show all the enzymes and how they work with uh, the biochemical pathways that I've been doing, like gluconeogenesis and glycolysis. I also want to do a video on the pentose phosphate pathway and uh, electron transport. But I thought I would take a little break from biochem and um, do some very introductory organic chemistry. Now, anyone in the university who's taking organic chemistry would be able to watch these videos and it would help them with the basic nomenclature and eventually in later videos with uh, reactions and mechanisms. But uh, today I wanted to go over the uh, IUPAC names and just the basics. So here's my whiteboard. We can get started. Now, I mentioned the abbreviation IUPAC, and that applies for International Union of Physical and Applied Chemistry. Now, basically, every organic molecule is named in a very logical way based on the following, what I'm about to do. Alkanes are carbon molecules that have no double bonds, only single bonds, and you can denote them from formula 2N plus 2. Alkenes have one double bond or more, and you denote them by 2N. Alkynes have a triple bond, and it's 2N minus, I'm sorry, minus 2, not 3, <laughs> minus 2. Now, N is the number of carbons in the molecule, and this formula will tell you the number of hydrogens. So in a basic alkane, take N, let's say one carbon, one times two is two, plus two is four. So in the most basic carbon molecule, CH4, this is methane. Now, why did I call it methane? We'll go over the number of carbons, gives it the first prefix, and then alkenes, alkynes, and alkanes give it the second prefix. So meth, this is the number of carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and here's the prefix. Meth, eth, prop, but, pent, hex, Hept, oct, non, and dec. 11 is undec and 12 is dodec. So it, it follows like a basic uh, logical structure based on Latin. So meth meaning one carbon. So whether it's an alkane, alkene, or alkyne, will denote the second prefix. So methane looks like this, CH4. I can't really have a double, triple bond with one carbon molecule, so this is just kind of like a Na. Ethane, CH3, CH4, 3. So if I follow the formula uh, for an alkane, 2 is the number of carbon, so 2 times 2 is 4 plus two is six. If you notice, I have six hydrogens. Ethene, CH2, double bond, CH2. Ethine, CH, triple bond, CH. And it follows a very logical process like this. Uh, we're gonna get into, once we pass the propane, CH3, CH2, CH3, uh, there's possibilities for different isomers of the same uh, same molecule. So here I can have CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Now what you're thinking is if I take the double bond and put it here, does that make it a different molecule? No, because if I start counting from here, this becomes carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, 
So if I put it here, it's also between carbon one and carbon two. It's the same molecule. But when I get to uh, a four carbon molecule, I can have that different isomer. So CH2 double bond CH, CH2, CH3 is a very different molecule from CH3, CH double bond CH, CH3. These are both butene, but this one would be one butene and this would be two butene. Why? Because the double bond is between carbon one and two, and here the double bond is between carbon two and three. So the IUPAC nomenclature would be for this one one butene, and this would be two butene. The two again denotes the carbon number that the double bond is on. Same thing with pentene. If I have CH3, CH, double bond, CH, CH2, CH3, I can have at least, let's see, here's another one, CH2, double bond, CH, CH2, CH2, CH3. Now, if I put the double bond here, it's the same as this one. And if I put it here, it's the same as this one. So I can have two different isomers of this molecule. Now, later on, we're going to talk about which one's more stable, obviously. And for your reference, this top one is more stable and will probably be the majority of the, uh, the synthesis reaction. But we're not going to talk about stability or cis and trans today. We're just going to talk about the basic nomenclature. So alkynes, same way. You can have different isomers of an alkyne. Just replace what I've done with the double bonds to a triple bond. Um, essentially, that's the basics. Now, I'm going to go over some basic structures here. Ethers, R denotes a carbon group. And now, it surrounds an oxygen. That's an ether. Alcohols, have a hydroxyl group on the side of them. And I'm going to go over the nomenclature for all of these in the next video because the YouTube's 10 minute maximum only allows for a certain amount of time. Uh, carboxylic acids, R, C, double bond, O, OH. This is a carboxylic acid. Um, ketones, again, R is a carbon group. Aldehydes, this is just a brief introduction. This is you know, the opening credits to hopefully 20, 50 videos that I'm going to be doing on this. Um, this is the, the basics. There are a lot of different types of uh, organic molecules. Like I said, there's ether, alcohols. We didn't go to amides yet. There's a lot of different ones, but uh, this video's purpose is basically to instruct on the nomenclature of alkanes, al alkenes, and alkynes. And uh, in the next videos, or the videos to come, we'll do um, nomenclature, mixing up alkenes with alcohols, ethers, carboxylic acids. Seriously, a world of fun, and uh, thank you for watching this video.